Hey guys, welcome to another journey to Tarawera. This morning I'm finishing off the week with a long run over steep and then quite technical terrain. So it's good to be back on the trails. Started off the week with a uh, technical run, finishing our trip at the Grampians. So that was quite amazing that that run.
So today's run is from Warren Gorge to Quorn. Started, as you can see, it's the sunrise. It's a pretty strong sunrise, very orange. I, uh, yeah, interested in doing this run because it is the um, last 50k of the Rational South 100 miler and 200 miler. You go down to the aid station and then you come straight back up uh, this track before rejoining the Heisen Trail. goes down this hill. So, I mean, this doesn't look like much of a track, but it is the main, it's the road that they, they're using. <laughs> Nearly an hour till I saw the, uh, the first goats of today's run. Now you might uh, be looking at um, I Strava and think going pretty slow for downhill kilometers. Well, I'll just show you a bit what what I'm having to deal with here through the the creek. I'll share a um, a one kilometer section of the creek here. I've already been in here for about a kilometer. So that last kilometer was 10 minutes 43. Let's see if we can be a bit quicker on this one. Looks like the path goes up here. Oh yeah, that's good, nice fast bit. The trail pretty much follows the creek bed, so unless there's a real reason to get out of the creek bed, it's usually better to stay in it.
Ooh, the fence wire there. That's why they Path that goes up there, um, I reckon we'll give that one a go because it looks like it curves around there. There we go. That's one kilometer in the creek. Looks like I ought to get back down there. So maybe it wasn't the right way to go, but yeah, I think it's just the what we have to do. So I've gained a bit there. Here we go. All right, so I've got a couple more Ks of this. So being here for a good 20 odd, 25 minutes more before it gets a bit easier. Okay, so there's this part here where I'm pretty sure if you follow the creek, it goes to a, um, Big waterfall down there so you can't actually do it so the trail goes up here because yeah I think that I'm pretty sure that's a, that's a um a w impassable waterfall there so anyway going up very steep Doesn't look too bad down there, but um, yeah, well, it says the trail goes this way. Whether it's a alternative or the actual course, I don't know.
and does turn out that I do have a few more k's than just two k's so the last two k's I've done since I filmed that continuous kilometer have been just over 11 minutes looks like we've still got a way to go I'll have a look at the uh, the heat map for this later on to see if people have run that that section of creek and whether you can do that instead of going up the steep hill and down the other side. I mean, it might be shorter, but we'll see whether it's something that can be done. Anyway, back to it, almost back to the creek again. Heard some goats down the creek. <laughs> See how they handle the rocks. Oh, looks like this guy's got a problem with his legs. Ooh. Hope you're right, buddy. Anyway. We've got another impassable waterfall down there, so straight up this fairly steep. Part. Yeah, it's definitely an impassable waterfall down there. See there, it's uh. Yeah, it's a long way down there. through here last year it had been raining and all this was mud I did lose my footing going down here but nicer today there's a little bit of rain overnight but no it's nowhere near as sloppy as what it was when it came down here last year
since coming out of the creek we've had basically follow the fence for quite a few k's it was quite rocky but it's got a lot easier along this part So a pretty slow going run today. I've only just uh, gone over three hours so far. Not much more than 21 k's done. Okay, so we've come into a place that's been off the plain now for we went over a pretty big hill to get here but um, this is a slightly uphill creek which we've got for a few kilometers I won't uh, film for a full kilometer like last time but as you can see much of the same you can uh, pick out trails occasionally and go for some running and then you've got to climb over rocks and sticks and whatever so another pretty slow going a few kilometers coming up and I'm three and a half hours into the run so pretty tired as well so running is pretty slow anyway That's a pretty steep hill they're going up. Anyway, I'm sticking to the creek bed. Okay, I'm over four hours in, still doing this uh, creek, which is 
still um, quite difficult. It's quite a few of these uh, waterfalls that need to climb up. And um, when I ran here last, uh, last year, it was raining and there's a uh, waterfall that, or a rock face that was a bit wet for me to climb up. I think this is it actually here. So I went up, I went up there instead of trying to climb the, the rock face. But today it's dry so I might be able to um, get get up it. I think I've got to go in here maybe. Let's see. Yeah, so this is where you can get up. So obviously this is my head height. Um, I better put the uh, up. So I kept trying to put my foot up there and I kept getting cramped with my hip flexor but eventually I managed to scramble up. The alternative is coming up and coming down there. Anyway, it's the Hyson sign. We're close. I reckon we're close to finishing this uh, creek section. So I reckon that's Dutchman Stern just there, and it comes out pretty much at the base of that. It's yet to be confirmed, but the Rational South 100 miler and 200 miler summit uh, Dutchman Stern, so there's an extra 10k loop. But uh, for today, it was a 40k run, uh, so it would be 50k's from uh, Warren Gorge to Quorn uh, following the Rational South route. So, you've got a choice of rocks here, or look at the beautifully curated road over there. rocks as well. So the day before running this very difficult run I did an aerobic 80 minute run uh, from the World's End campground along the uh, end of the World's End 100 kilometer course. So I just wanted to see what the course was like to see um, you know just helps with navigating idea of what's coming up and um, yeah it's just a straight dirt road uh, for the last bit there with um, a bit of a hazard in one of the paddocks uh, just about a kilometer to go. So that six hour run was a very good training session very high training load compared to what I have been doing uh, but my foot seems to be handling it okay like it was it sore while I was doing it but my foot is now strong enough that it can handle things without actually getting any worse it's just that I've got some residual pain from the from the injury so I'm uh, training okay and it can handle things like that and be okay once I stop um, 
be a little bit stiff obviously overnight, but then be okay the next day. So um, yeah, the foot, foot injury is going okay and it looks like I will be able to improve things, um, improve my training going forward. So I've got two weeks until World's End 100 kilometers and uh, I am planning on doing that and I think I've done the bare minimum amount of training to do it so it will be quite a challenge. You know, if you want to challenge yourself then don't train. Um, yeah, so I'll see how I go for that in two weeks. Um, hope you've enjoyed this vlog. See you next time.